How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Yeah, I know the Walking Dead throws on on here. It's in the dryer right now. It actually got warm last night when I was sleeping, and I woke up sweating through everything. I was like, oh, I gotta wash my sheets. It was, I was like two days off from having to do my sheets anyway, but I was like, okay, I'll go and do it a little bit. But this is, this is the Dead Pit Drunken Commentary on Hatchet. As I mentioned before, you know, I got a stack of these from Cody LL, the former Dead Pit fan. And what these are is Fat Fuck here and Uncle Bill. I'm sorry, CK, Wes Vance, Creeper Kentucky, and Fat Fuck. And Uncle Bill. Would you on their website you could buy an audio commentary, audio fan commentary for different films, and they were two to three bucks a piece, which is kinda kinda irks me because who the fuck charges for fan commentaries unless they're like, you know, Rift Tracks or one of those. But, and what I didn't know until Cody told me all this shit was, at conventions they would sell DVDs like this, where it is the movie, and a lot of times just the back cover ripped off. And look, they got, they just had the word bullshit below a quote. Features, death pit commentary, enough said. And then this disc is not made or distributed by the owners or hosts of Dead Pit. Then why was it sold at your fucking table, fat fuck? But anyway... They distribute these DVDs at conventions. I want to say they were five to ten bucks a pop. I'm not sure on that. I'm not. I, I like to say I don't know because these were not listed on their website. So I don't know the exact price. And I, Cody's told me and I've forgotten. But I threw this in the other night. I was wanting something to listen to. While I was dozing. I was like, I'll throw it in. I don't, I'd watch it, but it'd been a while. And I enjoy Hatchet. You know, I was not one of the ones that hated Hatchet. So I threw it in and started listening. And oh my god, it's. Well, I was gonna say three hours and twenty-five minutes. It's it's fucking the entire thing. A CK and Uncle Bill just whining about how this movie sucks and all that. It's like, what the fuck are you watching it? Yeah. And it it feels like and I'm not a hundred percent. It feels like they're pissed off at Adam Green because Adam Green might have denied him an interview. They kind of, especially CK, had a habit of doing that where they'd want to interview somebody on the show. And the person didn't want to do the interview, and CK would just go off on them. Like, for example, and I know this is a fact, because I was involved in this a little bit. Patricia Tallman from Babylon 5. Uh, a lot of Romero stuff. The stunt work. She works for Michael Straczynski now. Real good actress. Really good stunt woman. They'd been trying to get her on the show for a while and just never heard back. They, like, talked to her representative or agent, whoever it is. And the agent just asked, and I didn't know this, so I talked to Ms. Tallman. Just asked, hey, you know, send me a link to a couple of episodes. I want to see what kind of show it is. Which, that makes sense. Well, I'm at a convention. Miss Tallman, I'm pretty sure Ms. Tallman's there, so I go to her panel, and it's entertaining. And she talked a little bit more about Battle 5, because it's more of a science fiction crowd at this convention, but I got her to talk a little bit about working with Romero, which was cool as hell. Well, I went up to her table later on that day, and was talking to her, and I said, well, yes, you know, some people I know do this podcast called Dead Pit Radio, and they said they asked your agent if you'd come on, and you never, like, got back in touch. She goes, wait, and she goes, hold on, she got her phone, and she punched in Dead Pit, and she's like, Oh, yeah. The the hillbilly, the heavy set hillbilly guy that hates women and the other guy that just kind of is toady. Not not exact quote, but that's close to what she said. She's like, I listened to the show and it just I didn't agree with a lot of what the heavy set guy said, so I told my agent don't even, don't even get back in touch with him. I ain't gonna do the show. I said, okay, I was just curious, you know. Talked to her a little bit, got something off the table, you know, headed out. Well that evening when I got back from the con, I messaged one of the guys from Dead Pit. And told him what was I was like, hey, you know, this is what she said, blah, blah, blah. And the guy's like, okay, cool, not an issue. No big deal, you know. The next episode of Dead Pit to get recorded, because I think they'd already recorded the one for the the week after the convention already when I passed on the man. CK went off on Patricia Tallman for like 10 minutes. Let's see. He called her old, called her has been, called her a hack. Uh, said her breast probably looked like two tube stock, two tube socks stuffed full of hamburger meat. And just all of a sudden I'm thinking, dude, what the hell? And as you can see, this is not a, it's Andrew CK. He's actually, well, not now. Now he's bald and lost some weight, but he, at the time he was probably twice that size. So I think that's why probably they don't like Adam Green. Adam Green probably turned him down for an interview and they're like, okay. and so he goes, well, fuck you then. Uh, I will give them this. Unlike some of their other Fan commentary DVDs. This one actually looks like they actually ripped the DVD or got a good resolution file. A lot of there's one on my watch where it really looked like they CK because I'm sure he does all this stuff. I don't think Uncle Bill is that much into computer tech and authoring DVDs and shit. West fans, fat fuck. 
It looks like he just went and found like an old VCD and used that for the movie. I mean, it just like I was watching earlier today the first Twilight film, which I have their version of it, and it looks like I mean I think they actually might have mentioned in the commentary it's like a flea market bootleg, but it looks like shit. And it's like man, if you're gonna charge you know, five to ten bucks, at least give them something decent. And I, this, if I'm right, this is one of the ones where they left the original audio on there too. You could like listen to it the commentary without. And it's like how the hell. Especially with them going to so many conventions, they sold these every convention. They went, how the hell did they not get in trouble for this shit? Or did they? And that's why they quit going to conventions. Cause, I mean, there's so much shady shit about, especially about CK, like how he owns a couple film prints. Okay, I mean, technically, unless they're gotten through, gotten in a certain way, they're not legal to own their property or the studio. But that, you know, a lot of people own film prints. It ain't that big a thing. He started screening them at the, I think it was a two screener. The Strand in the town he lived in, in the next town ever, Camber Witch, and was charging entrance, and a lawsuit got there, and that's why they stopped. He had up like he did like three or four of them. They were doing good, and was planning on more and a lawsuit. Um, just oh, just so much shady shit there. It was, and all of ninety percent of it tracks back to West Vance, Fat Fuck, Uncle Bill. I know of one shady thing he's done, but I'm not gonna talk about it. If you don't know that bad, you know, I ain't that hard to find on the internet. Message me and I'll say it in private. I ain't gonna say it in public because it's one of those where I don't have, I'm only like 70 to 80% sure on the information I was given. And I, wanna, I don't want it out. There was CK stuff, this stuff I'm 90 to 100% on it. Yeah, hatchet. You fat fuck. And look, it couldn't even, I mean, oh, I'm gonna point that out too. Okay, the front cover don't look bad. I mean, you can tell it's probably Donald's home printer. Don't look the bad. What kind of paper is it? I never even checked. Oh, it's actually decent paper, but um, the disc fell out. Look at this. Look how badly printed that back cover. It looks like he just scanned the fucking DVD back cover. Like a low-res scan. And then the disc, which just fell out. It's a burnt disc with just Hatcher written on there in purple Sharpie, Matt have been blue. Because I don't know how long Cody had these, but yeah, that's Hatchet, Dead Pit, uh, leave a comment if you listen to it. Leave a comment. Tell us, tell me about some sleazy shit CK did. Tell me about some sleazy shit Uncle Bill did. Explain to me how Steve the B plan is so boring. Nobody wants to listen to him. Or you know how his wife Dana's a controlling bitch. Or you know there's oh god it, it's it's a sleaze hole. That whole place is a sleaze hole. There are some good people on the forums, but damn. So that most people really involved with that show are just douchebags or just sleaze bags. I mean. I'm just going to end it with this after I do my little sign-off. Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, subscribe, and put on a fucking shirt, Crater. Bye-bye.